Hello, my name is George Edmondson from MotionVFX.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to do this using the brand new plugin, M Logo Cine. M. Hold on, it seems seems like I'm getting a call. Hello. Hey, George. Hey, is this is this Stan? Yeah, what's up, George? It's me, Stan. You know this tutorial is just for logos, right? Oh. Uh Oh, oh, M logo cinematic. Okay, that actually, yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, yeah, you might be, you might be kind of going a little too far. This might be a little too much overkill. You, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I tend, I tend to do that sometimes. Yeah, just logos. Just, just logos. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, buddy. Bye. Okay, that, that actually does make a lot more sense. So let me show you how to do this using your logo with the brand new plugin M Logo Cinematic. Ah! M Logo Cinematic is a pack of 26 pre-animated logo animations and is built exclusively for Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. This pack also contains 7 typography presets. To locate MLogo Cinematic, open your title browser and scroll to MLogo Cinematic. Here you will find the 26 preset logo animations and your 7 typography options. To preview, you can simply scrub over each title to get a real-time preview of your logo animation. To add one of your titles, simply click and drag into your timeline. To add a logo to MLogo Cinematic, simply click your drop zone, and in our Clips browser, we're just going to select our logo and hit Apply. We're presented with our parameters, animations in and out, content position, rotation, and scale, and we can also use our on-screen controls. If you would like to make changes to the size of your logo, you can use your logo inside scale and logo scale respectively. If you have original colors, which in this logo, it's just white, but if you have original colors, you can select that to maintain the colors of your logo. If you would like to colorize your logo, you can select our logo colorize option as well. In MLogo Cinematic Title 11, we can make changes to our top, left, right, and closing colors. And we can make changes to our extrusion on our logo. We have a noise option to give realistic film grain as well as a letterbox option if we would like to add a letterbox to our title. If you would like to maintain a background, you also have the option to turn that on and off as well. So why don't we select M Logo Cinematic title number 24. And again, the application of the logo is the same. Select your drop zone, locate your logo, and click apply. As you can see here, our logo is a bit too large, so we're going to locate our logo inner scale and just scale that down a bit until our logo comes back into frame. If we would like to increase the scale of our entire animation, we can use our on-screen controls. I'd like to add a bit of text, so let's scroll down to our typography and we can select typography number one, and bring this in to use in conjunction with our logo. To modify text, go in your inspector to your title text option and make those changes. In your typography parameters, you have your animation in and out, as well as speed in and out, all of your contents, position, scale, and rotation, along with your on-screen controls. And you can modify your font, 
size, alignment, spacing, tracking, color, and all caps options. So as we can see, our logo, as it's doing its animated push, gets a bit too large. So we're going to use this on-screen control just to scale that down a bit. And we can use our content position to bring this down on Y. Now let's see how that looks. If you would like to see how we created our intro, I simply shot our video on green screen and used MLogo Cinematic 8. And in our drop zone, I created a compound clip with my keyed version for my drop zone. And you can see here that that is animated. Now keep in mind, most of the time, if you do want to add video to drop zone, you will need to make that a compound clip prior to adding to your drop zone. If not, you run into the potential of only selecting a video and only seeing a still image. So if that happens, if you want to add a video to your drop zone, make it a compound clip and then check to see if your video is playing inside of your drop zone. All right, again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. MLogo Cinematic is now available on MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.